Welcome back. You're tuned in to Chartbusters here on CNBC TV 18. Well, Tata Motors, that's the top loser on the Nifty after the J, uh, JLR CEO resigned. Sonia joins us to tell us more on that front. Sonia? Well, thanks a lot for that. As you rightly pointed out, this is uh, a tough time for Tata Motors. Now, the JLR CEO has resigned uh, from December end of this year. Uh, Thierry Bullor, who was the CEO from 2020, has now put in his resignation. Uh, citing personal reasons. Adrian Mardell will be taking over as the interim CEO of JLR. Now, this comes at a time when there are a lot of challenges that JLR is facing, given the kind of demand crunch in the European region. In Q2, JLR, in fact, lowered its guidance for FY23. Uh, they also reported a negative free cash flow of £15 million because of the adverse working capital movement. The EBIT margins for JLR had fallen 230 basis points quarter on quarter. And at a time like this, the resignation of the CEO boards as negative news for the company. There's no clarity on when the new CEO will be announced and for the interim basis, there is Adrian Mardell. Uh, remember, the stock as well has been a big underperformer this year. It's down 15% this year, while stocks like m and TVS, Motor, etc. have had huge rallies. Uh, so all in all, disappointing information coming in for Tata Motors. Alright, tough times continue for Tata Motors, but can't say the same about